Well, the latest now on the situation in Nepal and the crisis there on the border where 4,000 Indian trucks are stranded. India claims they are stranded because of protests by Madhesi groups over the new constitution, while Nepal is grappling with a massive fuel and LPG shortage. And anti-India sentiment is growing in Kathmandu over what is being perceived as a blockade. There are reports coming in of severe LPG and fuel shortages in Nepal on the Indian side of the border in Raksol. It's not very difficult to understand why. These trucks that you see in your frame right now, to a distance, are all LPG trucks that have fuel from refineries in India like Haldia, Mathura, and are all headed to Nepal but have been stuck here on the border for over 20 to 25 days. And these are trucks that number perhaps 250, 300, we don't know. Each truck can carry gallons of fuel, LPG, which means that there is a severe shortage not only in Kathmandu, but in other parts of Nepal also. All these people in your frame right now are drivers. These are people who actually take these trucks across the border. We'll go and speak to one or two of them. Aapka naam kya sir? Angal. Angal ji, aap kaha se hai aur kaun se truck leke ja rahe hai? Hum Baroni se hai. Baroni se maal load kar ke aare hai. Nepal leke ja rahe hai tanker. Ji. Aur yahaan... नेपाल प्रशासन से इधर से हम लोग को ऑर्डर नहीं मिला है इधर से हमारा गाड़ी पास हो चुका है नेपाल में जाने के लिए लेकिन जब तक उधर से स्वीकृति नहीं मिलती है तब तक हम लोग बिना परमिशन के नहीं जा सकते have been preventing them. At the moment, we have no way of confirming this uh, ourselves because we are also not being allowed to go to that side of the border. But from these structures, at least it is very clear, they are saying that they are willing to take their trucks that side, provided there is some kind of security in Nepal. That's something they are saying is not available to them right now. In fact, the Home Minister Rajnath Singh and uh, Sushil Koirala, the Prime Minister uh, of Nepal, talked. Rajnath Singh saying India and Nepal are friends and will remain friends. Rajnath Singh also asking the Nepalese Prime Minister to initiate a dialogue with the protesting Madhesis. He's asked the Madhesis to end violence and talk to the Nepalese government. Shruti Ranjan Sen now joining us for more. Shruti, a, a delicate situation that India has to deal with. Uh, there was what you were reporting yesterday that uh, Nepal could be looking towards China for getting what it needs uh, in terms of essentials as well. Well, yes. I mean, I mean, Nepal has been telling that, and and, and as we understand, those those roads are being out, I mean, near completion. Rebuilding of those roads are near completion. That is one side to it. Today, we have seen the Home Minister speaking uh, to the Prime Minister of Nepal. The latest that we are getting out of uh, Nepal, and and this is what our sources are indicating: the schools are closing down there. Hospitals are facing a uh, near closure because of lack of fuel, and there is a lot of resentment. Now, it all depends because India it plays a very big role in not only in the in, in, in the political situation of Nepal, but also its economy, and it depends, uh, you know, on India in in a big way because it's it's the neighbor. It is from where everything is supplied. How it handles the situation and resolves this. I was speaking to some people on in, in the SSB, the Shashash uh, Shima Suraksha Bal, which guards the Indo-Nepal border, just trying to find out why uh, you know these trucks are struck. Because as Alok has been reporting, our truckers or our you know uh, 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 you know carriers are willing to carry the essential supplies in. And what I was told is it's because uh, you, you see because the the Madhesis on the other side are ag agitating. But Nepal seems to be saying completely the different. Nepal is saying because Madhesis are close to India, it is being delivered, the trucks are deliberately not being allowed to go. So in, in a sense, a very tricky and a very delicate situation. And a lot will depend on how New Delhi handles this. Amitabh. So the Ranjan Sen reporting on the delicate situation between India and Nepal and how essential supplies are still not getting through.